Vitel SC 2 and 3 mm splice on connector assembly video. Tools required Vitel Fusion Splicer, Vitel S325 Cleaver, 211B 3 hole stripper, Vitel S240A connector assembly tool, cordage and ferrule holders, Vitel CRP 01 crimp tool, SS 01 Kevlar scissors, fiber prep fluid, and fiber wipes. SOC packaging consists of outer housing, inner housing, ferrule, boot, crimp sleeve, main body, spring, and protection sleeve. Start by sliding the fiber through main body connector parts located inside packaging. Open packaging, remove connector parts using the fiber. Use outermost hole on S211B three hole stripper to remove approximately one and a half inches of three millimeter cordage. Use Kevlar scissors to cut Kevlar leaving one half inch protruding from cordage edge. Use S248 connector assembly tool to make a one and a half inch split in cordage. Remove protection sleeve from packaging, slide onto fiber. Load cordage and protection sleeve into cordage holder. Strip fiber from holder edge leaving approximately 1 8 inch of 900 micron coating. Clean fiber using lint-free wipe and 99% isopropyl alcohol. Cleave fiber. Load cordage holder into fusion splicer. Using ferrule transportation tool, remove ferrule from packaging. Place ferrule into ferrule holder. Load ferrule holder into fusion splicer. Please turn off the tension test prior to splicing. Please select appropriate heater and splice programs. In this case, we are using 20 millimeter SOC heater program and single mode fusion program. Splice fiber.
Remove splice from fusion splicer. Keep a lateral tension on ferrule transfer tool and fiber during extraction from fusion splicer and fiber holders. Center protection sleeve over splice. Center protection sleeve in protection sleeve heater, then activate heater. Heater activation is automatic with the S178, S153, and S123. Trim slit cordage so that it does not overlap the protection sleeve. Slide main body and spring up to ferrule. When assembling an SC APC connector, line red dot on ferrule with the red dot on the inner housing. Use fingers or S240A connector assembly tool to fix inner housing to main body. Pull all Kevlar from the split cordage and distribute evenly on each side of cordage. Slide up crimp sleeve fixing Kevlar to main body. Crimp Kevlar to main housing using the round dot one nine zero die. Place additional crimp on back of sleeve using the dot one seven eight hex die. Make sure the edge of the die is aligned with the edge of the crimp ring. Using Kevlar scissors, trim excess Kevlar protruding from the crimp ring. Slide boot over crimp sleeve so that it rests against the main body. Slide outer housing over inner housing. Inner housing and outer housing are keyed. Match round side to round side. finished product.